be the last nachos. Are you ready to not eat nachos for a long time? I really want a sandwich. <laughs> Are you ready once we have the last ones to um, pick the best one? Yeah. Do you think you already know what it is? Unless the next two nachos are like out of this world, then yes, I do know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, since how the last couple ones have been, I'm not, I don't have very high hopes. Yeah, yesterday we actually had like a bunch of one star to two star yeah. ratings. Hopefully these are better. Hopefully. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. This is El Polo Ground. Pollo. Uh, big spice tortilla chips, ground chicken chili verde, queso sauce, smoked corn salsa, or tea. I lost it. I can say it. And cilantro. Tortilla? <laughs> yeah. It's our last nacho. Or not our last one. Almost our last one. This is nacho. Thirty-nine. That's so daunting. I like it though. Like it. Um, it's a little bit spicy. Um, I really like the corn words a lot. It's a little wet at the bottom, but that's fine. I'd say three and a half. I'm not going to if any, uh, if didn't have chicken on it, I would totally okay, eat so we're down to but I love the cheese sauce. The chips are really good and crunchy and they're all good. I don't know what kind of they are. Honestly. Well, that was easy. Oh, they have a deep one. Um, First of all, how do you be part of Nacho Day and not <laughs> nachos all day? <laughs> so uh, I'm I, I'm gonna rate them anyways. You ready for this? Yeah, go ahead. These actually really don't sound very good. Uh, they're called Cha Cha Nachos, which before I even read this off, I'm surprised that they're not doing a macaroni nacho because their macaroni <laughs> is dank and they're well known for it. So yep. this is like extra on church. Extra. Right, it's braised chicken, corn salsa, uh, chimichurri crema, and wonton chips. You know, I, I, I didn't have hopes for these ones being the best ones, which is fine. Uh, but I still wanted to try them. Exactly. But I do want to point it out, we did make it to all 40 locations. We made it to church <laughs> twice in the so <laughs> Uh, a few days ago, we came at like 7 p.m. and they were sold out for the day. Time to go to church. <laughs> they were they're sold out also again. On their page, said that they're open till or serving nachos till 2 a.m. And both days was before 10 p.m. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and rate them. I mean, they were basically flavorless. Uh, the chips couldn't taste them. Uh, the chicken, no flavor at all. Uh, boring. Boring. <laughs> Could have done a lot better. <laughs> Mac and cheese nachos church. Remember for that next year. Yep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and rate uh, church ones at a zero. Yeah, zero. It's almost like they didn't even serve us. We have yeah. trekked through the city. Um, six days. We saw a skunk. We were stopped by two trains. Uh, we hopped trains? over one of them. Um, two trains, we hopped over one of them. Because um, it stopped in the middle of the road. It's it, three, because we, we just had one. Oh no, that was a max. Never mind. Um, we maxed, we bust, we walked, we lifted. Um, Surprisingly, we only lifted once, I think. Alright, so do you want to go ahead and name your Phenomenacho? <sighs> this is. It's. It's a very difficult decision between the nachos at the Din at the Marriott. 4.5. And the Greek nachos. Both of them were 
Which Tom Minacho. Bar Maven? Yeah, Bar Maven. Wow, that looks so, this is a good start to the day. <laughs> uh, both of them did great. <sighs> I'm, do you know yours? Oh yeah, mine's Bar Maven. I had not tried them all. Uh, and Bar Maven was so excellent. I'm extreme. This is possibly my favorite one so far. There's just a lot going on, but it all works together so well. Also, there's so much. This is only $5. I'm bumping it up to a five star. That one is the winger. Ding, 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 ding. That was just excellent. I really, really like Bar Mavens. I love their flavors. Uh, I'm still probably gonna have to go with the Din at the Marriott. These ones are veggie. Oh my god, there's so much stuff on this chip. Hmm, here, let me find a good one. Here we go. Tink. They are both very different kinds of nachos and very different from your traditional nachos, which I love the. Uh, creativity people have put into Nacho Week. So all the places get a huge high five for that. Even the ones that kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the den, that was the uh, that was the a, second location. It was the Literally. squash and the chocolate mole and the blue corn chips and a few other things. It was it was really great. I will say the Bar Maven, I'm boosting up to, can we do 4.8? Can I do that? Sure. 4.8 right. for Bar 4. Maven. 4.8 for Bar Maven for me. And then uh, 5 for the Den, Marriott. The absolute 100% indisputable truth. <laughs> <laughs> Try us. <laughs> the most phenomenachos was do, do, Bar Maven do, do, do. for meat do, 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 do. and uh, Den at the Marriott for the veggie nachos.